Hey everyone, it's Major Reaction, coming at you with my latest episode of 3TO, that's Toy Talk Time Out, for those of you who haven't watched. Um, we're at episode 16 now. Today I have some pickups from the local comic book store and Walmart to show you. Um, we'll start off with Walmart, since I found one thing there, I actually found a bunch of the new Marvel Avengers Infinite Series Legends. The only one I needed though was Captain Marvel, so I picked her up for twenty dollars no more so that was good got her for retail price um, then I went over to the comic shop I had a seventy five dollar gift certificate so I ended up buying this Darth Vader unleashed figure really cool comes with a it's basically a statue but it comes with this really badass um, stair piece so I'm gonna use that in a Star Wars diorama that I plan on making or having commissioned sometime later in the uh, probably closer to the summer or so because I got a lot of Star Wars figures so now it's time to put them to use just need a really cool diorama to use with them um, and I got this G.I. Joe Cobra Troop DC Superhero Superman. I was going to get the uh, DC Superheroes Doomsday, but it was the red version. And um, I'm looking for the other version. So, but this is a really nice Superman. I wanted one like this because the other one I have is the new 52, so I really like the way this one looks. Here's some of the other figures in the line. This is the Doomsday that I had the chance to get. And I passed up on that. I didn't like that. I had that Parasite, I'm pretty sure. Well, mine might have came from the 2-pack, the DCUC 2-pack, but it might actually be that one. I want that Bizarro. He's tight. And it still is pretty badass, too. I um, probably have some more stuff to show you here in the week as some stuff arrives. Hey, everyone. It's Major Reaction. Going back over this scene that I um, had initially set up and taken a couple pictures of and uh, some video. I posted that on Facebook and got some um, critique uh, from Cedric Bacon. Thanks a lot for the critique. He said I should try to get a little more lighting on um, Darth Vader and maybe uh, kind of change around the gun that I originally had because it was kind of blocking Vader's uh, face. So I did that. Now I feel like I'm missing a little. I feel like I can get these guys a little closer together, more in the focus. I think I got enough light on Vader now that it's pretty obvious that it's Darth Vader, so I'm gonna kinda try to scoot these guys in a little closer. Uh, this guy's standing on a platform. I think I'm gonna remove that platform altogether. I had him up on that platform, but then he started to kinda just block the view of that guy, so I think that looks really good. I think the lighting came off a lot better. Darth Vader's a little more pronounced. Only thing that's bad is now the uh, numbers on this is kind of showing up. I'll probably be able to, if I mess around with the exposure on my camera, probably cut it down a little more. Make the background a little darker. But I'm going to go ahead and try to take a picture of this. I might take this uh, Stormtrooper with the caption right here and move him in a little more. That way it's a little closer to Darth Vader. I'm going to do that right now. That looks a lot better. Might have to pull that light out just a little bit more. Shoot it from this angle right here. I like that. You gotta see the archway a little more. So thanks for the suggestion, Cedric. I'm gonna put it to use and I'm gonna repost once I take this picture. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the pickups from this last week or so. Um, Got a lot of cool stuff here. So let's go ahead and start with uh, one of the things everybody's been looking for and talking about recently. This came from Toys R Us. I'm sure you can already guess what it is. If you're guessing three pack, then you're right. So, we got that Marvel Avengers 3-pack, the Strike Force, 
with Colson, Nick Fury, and Maria Hill. So really cool. Glad to add a female uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. And then Nick Fury and Agent Colson. I don't have any of these figures, so it's really nice to get a package with all three of them in there. And with the free shipping, that was awesome too. So that came from ToysRust.com. Uh, right now they're having a sale. Um, I think it's like a sale on all their Marvel Legends right now. You could get that for 40 instead of 50 So if you haven't already got one, uh, now would be a good time to get them. All right. So this next thing comes from BarnesandNobles.com. Uh, buddy Alex Rivera gave me the heads up that um, Saucier is going for less than $50. So I had to hurry and pick one of him up. I already have three Naruto's. And now I picked up a Sasuke. So I'm glad I didn't pay the 50 plus dollars for him because I think I got this one for 34 shipped or something like that. Uh, let's see, 36 shipped. So I think that's a really good price for him. And uh, I'll be stoked to take some pictures with him and Naruto. This last one is something from Tim Grayson. Purchased this through the Daily Planet. He was taking offers. I offered him, I think, uh, $50 or so. Um, can't remember. I think we settled on 55 or 60 So, I uh, feel like I got a great deal for this. Got to pull it out nice and gently here. So it came really nicely packaged, and it looks like, uh, so it came really nicely packaged, and looks like UPS took good care of it. This is pretty dope. The detail on this thing is really awesome. Give me a second, I'll get some light in there for you guys. So this is the diorama from Tim Grayson. Forgot to find out if he made this himself or if uh, he bought it from, had it commissioned from somebody else. But regardless, this is really, really cool. So it has all the tattered up um, wallpaper, really, really nicely done floors. Cool little poster back here, Evil Dead poster. Another one right there. So those can obviously be replaced, whatever, set up furniture and whatnot. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of the diorama. Okay, so this is a look at the exterior of the diorama. Has the broken windows, really nice brick detail. Really good uh, paint. Dry brushing techniques really done well. Pulling out a little, make you feel better. Look at the colors. So that's this diorama is really nice for the price. Like really, really nice. So big shout out to Tim Grayson. Thanks, brother, for the hookup. Okay, so here's uh, two more, two last things I wanted to show you guys. These were early birthday presents from my girlfriend. Um, first thing we're gonna go ahead and look at is a figure I've been wanting to get forever. And um, I found them going for a crazy amount at one point, so I just stopped trying to get them. And then recently, uh, my girlfriend was able to find them on Karen Hobby for a really, really good price. So she picked them up for me. This is awesome, too. This is only the second figure I've ever received that's been wrapped in this nice um, wrapping paper like this. The other one I received was uh, my Revoltech Lupin the Third, I think was the last one that I got wrapped like this. So you know it's really, really, really fresh when it comes like this. Okay, let's go ahead and tear it open. And uh, a lot of you guys might know who this is. Some of you guys might not. This is Kirito from the Sword Art Online anime. Um, I really like the anime and been wanting to get this figure for a while. He was going for upwards of $100 at one point. And uh, we were able to get him for, how much did you get him for, babe? 
like about sixty dollars so that's a really big price difference uh, we also got she also got me so that was sixty with the shipping and everything so she also got me asana for about the same price so I'm still waiting on her to come in the mail but uh, this is an early birthday present so I was really happy to finally add this to my collection this is only the uh, third real Figma figure I've gotten I got that Mikasa from Attack on Titan but that came out to be a knockoff so this is the third real Figma figure I've gotten and I'm really happy to get this one alright let's take a look at the last um, item of our haul my last gift from my girlfriend this is uh, something I've been wanting to get since about uh, last year and uh, I'm really stoked to finally get this can't wait to try it out and see the difference so she got me a Canon Rebel EOS 5 she got a pretty good deal on it paid about 500 for the camera and all the different accessories it came with it came with about four different lenses um, a bunch of different uh, lens filters came with a bag for it came with a ton of cool stuff so I'm gonna charge it up after this and then uh, you guys will be seeing um, shots done with my new DSLR camera so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit more of what all came with it so the camera itself came with a cool little strap came with its own lens so it came with that came with the charger and all that good stuff battery it also came with a um, USB cable. This was actually a really great deal because it comes with the, um, the bag for it. A bag for it. A new tripod, which I could use because my old bigger tripod broke. I'm using my small little table stand tripod right now. This lens, this lens. this bad boy so I'm gonna have a lot of fun figuring all this out <laughs> it's either gonna be a lot of fun or it's gonna be a headache but um, so this is my first DSLR camera ever and I'm really excited to see um, how my pictures and videos are gonna come out so look forward to that So here's the setup I have. I'm testing out uh, my new camera, doing some new shots with it, I'm trying to get the lighting and settings down for it. It's gonna take a lot more uh, getting used to for sure. Straight so now, I have this scene set up with these hand engines that I recently got. Got Daredevil, knock one out here, stopping this one sword. This guy's charging in. So I'm using the new diorama I just got in. I'm using the roof of that. And then my old diorama from Michael Archuleta in the background. It's looking really good on video, but I'm having a hard time capturing it properly on, capturing it properly on, um, and that's a sick view right there. Boom. It's awesome actually. Maybe I'll try shooting it like that. But I'm having a hard time getting the pictures to come out clear and the cutout to come out right. So I'm going to try this shot right here and see how that works. Hey everyone. 
So here's my latest setup I'm working on using the inside of the diorama I got from Tim Grayson. Put a little bit of furniture back here. And a little desk with a chair right here. Got my super scroll. Smashing Daredevil with a chair. I'm having a hard time getting this all into the shot, especially since this little rod I have to take it from a certain angle. I have a light lighting up the flame back there. Um, if I shoot from a certain angle, it looks like it's kind of lit up. Looks kind of odd though. I don't know. I might switch to using the smaller goblin flames that come on the um, Ultimate Green Goblin build figure. This is his back flame that I'm using right here. I have it stuck in the window. I have this wham cut out. And I just knocked out of place. So. The detail of the diorama looks really good on camera. The only hard part is getting it all lit up. You can got a little light bulb in there. If I shoot it from a small enough angle, you can probably see it like that. Then the cutout doesn't look right from that angle. If I turn it a little more. The cutout fell off. Try that again. That looks pretty badass. I think that looks pretty good. I gotta shoot it from a certain angle though for the cutout to be straight. If I shoot it from this angle, it looks a little too much like the scroll guy hit or something. I don't know. It just doesn't look right from that angle. Kind of works from this top down angle, I think. Just gonna make that flame in the background look a little less realistic. I'm gonna probably throw that light. Probably just take it out altogether. 